Hey guys, I'm Alina and today we are going to learn le pronom relatif in French. So let's get started. Now, in pronom relatif we have que, qui, ou and do. But in this video we'll only focus on que, qui and ou. Do is not included in this video. Now, why do we use pronom relatif? It's like we have to avoid repetition in a sentence. Like I have a sentence over here. Il y a une phrase, je ne comprends pas cette phrase. There is a sentence. I do not understand this sentence. So, in a, um, while we speak, rather than repeating the word sentence again and again, we can use words like que, qui, ou to replace them and avoid repetition. So that is what prono relative is all about. Now, ke and ki mean that, who or which. And u means when and where. And now we'll study the three of them in detail. So first we learn about ki. So as I told you, ki means that, who or which. It takes its meaning according to the sentence. So first I have a sentence over here. Je regarde une femme, cette femme est blonde. So here, the word which is repeated is femme, which means women. I am looking at a woman. The woman is blonde. So uh, here, in the, in the second sentence, femme, it is the subject. In this sentence also, elle porte une robe, la robe est belle. Here, robe is being repeated, which is dress, is being repeated again. Je un travail, ce travail me plaît. So, travail, job, it's being repeated again. So, in all these three sentences, we have a word which is repeated again and again. And what is common in all these sentences is that the word which is repeated is the subject. So, key is always used when we want to replace the subject. In this sentence also, the repeated word is subject and in these two sentences also. So, key is used to replace the subject. Always remember that. So, je regarde une femme, cette femme est blonde. So what we do is we replace the word femme with qui. We only use the word femme once, not twice. So it becomes je regarde une femme qui est blonde. I'm looking at a woman who is blonde. So here, key takes the meaning who. Now, we have vowel and vowel here. So, we might sometimes write it like this. But in this case, it's wrong. We will not cancel the I and put an apostrophe while we are using key. Even though we have a vowel uh, in the next word, we will always keep it like this only and we will not put an apostrophe. We do that in K, not in ki. So, je regarde une femme qui est blonde. Next sentence, elle porte une robe, la robe est belle. She wears a robe or she is wearing a robe, a dress, the dress is beautiful. So, the dress is repeated again and again. So we use ki to replace it. Why? Because the dress, the repeated word is the subject over here. So it becomes el put yun robe ki ebel. She is wearing a dress which is beautiful. So in this sentence, ki means which. So, as I told you, key takes, it, takes its meaning according to the sentence. In the last sentence, J'ai un travail, ce travail me plaît. I have a job, I like this job. 
So job is being repeated again and again and it is the subject. So the answer becomes je un travail qui me plaît. I have a job that I like. So here qui means that. In the previous sentences it means who, which and in this it means that. So Ki always takes its meaning according to the sentence. So always use ki when the word which is being repeated again and again is the subject in the sentence and do not remove the vowel and put an apostrophe when we have two vowels in ki it will remain as it is. Now we have k. K also means that, who or which. Now in these two sentences, c'est la nouvelle maison, je vais acheter la nouvelle maison. So, nouvelle maison is being repeated in the sentence. In the second sentence, c'est un bon roman, j'ai lu beaucoup de fois ce roman. So, roman is being repeated. Now, as you can see that in this, in these both sentences, the repeated word is not the subject this time. While the sentences we did, while we were doing ki, the repeated wor words were the subject. But in this case, the repeated words are the object in both the cases. So that means that we use k to replace the objects. We use que to replace the object. In this sentence, c'est la nouvelle maison. This is the new house. Je vais acheter la nouvelle maison. I'm going to buy the new house. So if we use pronoun relative, it becomes c'est la nouvelle maison que je vais and don't again write la nouvelle maison because we have written que to remove that. So c'est la nouvelle maison que je vais acheter. This is the new house that I'm going to buy. So now if we have que and any other word, the next word starts with a vowel. So we have que a. Just taking an example. So here we have two vowels. In this case, we will remove the first one and put an apostrophe. We don't do this in ki because we do this in k. So only in k, remember to remove the first vowel and put the apostrophe. Next sentence. C'est un bon roman. J'ai lu beaucoup de fois ce roman. This is a good novel. I have read this novel many times. So it becomes say un bon roman que j'ai lu beaucoup de fois. Now the sentence becomes this is a good novel which I have read many times, all that I have read many times. So, k always used to replace the subject and when we have two vowels, first vowel gets cancelled and it takes the place of an apostrophe. So, u is used to replace a place. So, in this sentence, like we have, voila la salle. Il y a plusieurs ordinateurs dans cette salle. So, salle is being repeated again. So, salle means a room. So, we use ou to replace salle and use pronoun relative. Now, words like a, che, don, sur, etc. When they are in a sentence, they help us identify that 
the word has to be replaced by u. Now, it's not always that you see the sentence and you place u. You have to be careful and just check whether it is the place that is being replaced again and again. Then you will place you, then you will place u. So the sentence becomes voila la sal u ilia plusieurs ordinateur. Voila la salle où il y a plusieurs ordinateurs. Here's the room where there are many computers. So, où is used to replace a place and words like a, che, don, sur, etc. They tell us that we have to use the word où but always be careful because sometimes the sentence might be tricky and you might have to use another prono relative while solving the sentence. Now let's do some questions. So as you can see these questions are different from what we did in the examples. These are the questions that you'll get in your exams. You will not have uh, two sentences where one will, will uh, where one word will be repeated and then you have to use prono relative. In your exam you will be given a blank where you have to think that which word is repeated and form two sentences on your own and then place the correct prono relative. So the first sentence is L'étudiant dash parle avec Helen in India. So we can either place K or K. Now we need to see which is the correct form. So let's try to think that what could be the sentence. L'étudiant L'étudiant Parle avec Helen et India. This would be the sentence. Just take the first word. That would be your first sentence. And then try to... Uh, so, l'étudiant will be the word which is repeated. Now, you have to see that in this second sentence, where will be that word placed? So, here, l'étudiant will be placed as a subject. L'étudiant. L'étudiant parle avec Helen et India. So when we are replacing the subject, we use qui. So l'étudiant qui parle avec Hélène et India. The student who is speaking with or who is talking to Helen is Indian. Second one, l'enfant a dash tu a donné ce livre et en tout heureux. So here you can use a trick or a way. When you have a person, l'enfant, it's a person, and a preposition, then you don't need to think again and again about what would be the repeated sentence or what are the two sentences. Just place key. It's a trick. So person, it has to be a person plus a preposition. Then you will place qui. So, l'enfant a qui tu as donné ce livre et en tout heureux. The child to whom you gave the book is very happy. Next, la fenêtre dash je viens d'ouvrir donne sur la cour. So, la fenêtre will be the first sentence. Je viens d'ouvrir la fenêtre dans sur la cour. So here we can't use la fenêtre as the subject. We already have je viens d'ouvrir. And la fenêtre as a subject does not make any sense. So it is the object. And with object we use que. So la fenêtre que je viens d'ouvrir dans la, sur la cour. Which means... The window that I just opened give the view of the countryside. You can see, je viens d'ouvrir, passé récent. Next sentence. Elle achète beaucoup de livres, dash, elle ne lit pas. First sentence becomes, elle achète beaucoup de livres. Now, livre would be the word which is repeated. 
elle ne lit pas le livre. So, elle achète beaucoup de livres. Elle ne lit pas le livre. Would be the sentence. So, le livre is repeated and it is the object. So, object we have, it changes to que. So, elle achète beaucoup de livres. Que elle ne lit pas. As we have two vowels, it takes the place of an apostrophe. So, elle achète beaucoup de livres qu'elle ne lit pas. She buys many books which she does not read. Next one, c'est la park dash Sylvie joue avec ses amis. This is the park dash Sylvie plays with her friends. So, this is the park where Sylvie plays with her friends. So, the sentence would be, c'est la park. Sylvie joue avec ses amis dans le parc. So, dans and it's park. So, uh, the place is being replaced and for place, we use où. So, c'est la park où Sylvie joue avec ses amis. This is the park where Sylvie plays with her friends. Last one. Je vous présente Radha. Dash est une très bonne amie. Chez Dash, je passe mes vacances. So I am presenting to you Radha. She is a very good friend. Uh, Dash is a very good friend. At whose place I spent my vacations. So je vous présente Radha. First sentence. Radha est une très bonne amie. So Radha becomes the subject. We cannot use Radha as an object in this sentence. So it's the subject. Je vous présente Radha. Qui est une très bonne amie? Do not remove the I. Keep it as it is. Chez Dash, je passe mes vacances. Now many of us do this mistake and put U. But that is the wrong answer. As I told you, always she does not mean or such prepositions does not mean we have to place u that is when we have been given with two sentences here we are just given a single sentence and there we have she that does not always mean that we'll use u we have to see whether u fits in or in here or not here we are talking about radha and not a place and radha is the subject so with subject, we place qui. So je vous présente Radha. Qui est une très bonne amie? Chez qui je passe mes vacances. I'm presenting to you Radha, who is a very good friend, at whose place I spent my vacations. Not weekends, vacations. Uh, and that was all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I'm on YouTube. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, take care and bye-bye.